Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use histograms while you're editing. Um, let me open those up for you first. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Window, and then you are going to click Histogram. And this will bring up this little mountain looking graph here. Um, I'm going to hit this little icon over here in the corner and select Expanded View. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm also going to hit All Channels View. And this will show me uh, the, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel as well. Um, now I'm going to explain what all this is in just a second. But um, if yours are not colored, if your red, green, and blue channels don't have the color showing, you can come in here and click Show Channels in Color. So if it looks like that, just click Show Channels in Color and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so basically what a histogram is, is it's a reading or a graphing of all of the different pixels in your photo. Basically it's going to show you here on the left side of the graph are all of the pure black pixels. On the right side of the graph are all of the white pixels. And in the center are all the midtones and shades of gray and um, lightness between black and white. So, um, and then the colored histograms show you how many red pixels, blue pixels, green pixels, um, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through here and kind of show you how I would read these as I'm editing. So what I want to do today is first brighten the image and know when to stop brightening, how much is too much, and the histograms are going to show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a levels layer. You can also use curves if you prefer. Um, and when levels opens, you'll notice that it also has a histogram in there. And for the longest time while I was editing, I had no idea what that was. It's just, you know, a pretty picture while you're going through your steps. But um, it actually shows you kind of what to do. So I'm going to show you today how to use that in your editing. So when you first open levels, it has, it's under RGB by default. You can separate these into the colored channels and adjust those, and we'll do that in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to leave it at RGB so we can adjust the lightness and darkness of the image. So if you're paying attention to the histogram here, you'll notice that there's no detail really in the blacks at all. It kind of just cuts off. Um, and then you'll notice a little spike here in the white, uh, which means we do have some blown out spots, and that's pretty much the sky. Um, as her, you can see her dress still has detail. So what I did when I shot this image, first it was evening and the sun was going down, so it's you a know, little bit overly blue, a little bit underexposed, but since she was wearing white, I didn't want to expose too much and blow out her dress. So I'm going to show you how I brighten this up and kind of maintain that um, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this black slider represents your blacks, the gray slider represents all of your midtones, and the white slider represents your whites. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this black slider over until the detail starts, until that little um, white area shows up in the image. And this will make sure that I'm dragging it just enough to add some detail to the blacks, but not enough that there's clipping. Now if I zoom in here on her hair, you'll see what I mean. If I keep going with this past where the, um, the detail, the white starts, you'll see that, that her hair, it, it clips the blacks. And what that means is that basically certain areas are too black for the detail to show. So I think the range in this image is right about eight, and that's when it stops, it, it, that's right before it starts the clipping. So I'm gonna zoom back out here. And now with the whites, some of the whites are already blown out. So if you increase this, those are gonna get even brighter. Um, and what I did here is basically, um, I kind of went past where you probably should, considering there's some clipping already. But I just, um, I know that that's mostly the sky because her dress still has detail. So I'm just going to bring this up a tiny bit um, until that next, like, spike in the, in the whites um, on the graph here starts. So basically, if you bring it up, you'll notice that there are some hot spots on her dress, basically areas where it's blown out. So I'm going to lower that so that that's not the case. <clears throat> Sorry, my icon or my notifications are going off. Okay, so then basically in the center, what you can do is you can brighten up the midtones to where you like it. Um, now with a histogram, it's not about how tall these spikes are. It's basically that the detail stretches to the end of the graph here and to the end of the graph on the other side. Basically, you want there to be blacks, you want there to be midtones, and you want there to be whites. So if, like here on the, the black section, there's no detail there, 
um, that means that there's no true blacks. So I just slid that slider over a little bit and now we've got some detail there that goes to the edge of the image. So for the first step in my editing, this is where I would stop. Um, now it does still look a little bit dark, but we have brightened it up quite a bit. Um, and this is basically, I couldn't go much further with this on the total image because her hair and their skin is part of the darkest part of the image. So if I darken it any more than that, they are going to be um, too dark, basically. So the next thing I want to do is open another levels layer. And this one, I'm going to kind of adjust with the background in mind. I do want to add some more detail to the background and make sure that there are some contrast back there so that the whole image has depth to it and not just them. Because right now they've got, you know, whites in the dress and his shirt. Um, more range basically they've got the darks on them their hair so it's basically they've got the most contrast in the image and the background doesn't so I'm going to adjust that now so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip past the the darks here and don't pay attention to her hair because we're going to pay attention to the background here so now I can see that there's a little bit more contrast going on you can even increase this over here if you wanted to add some more um, some more whites and if you hold down your alt key you can show a reading it'll show you where the brightest parts are so if you want to keep sliding this up until you can see some whites in the the ground here or in the mountains you can and then when you let go you'll notice that those are now overly bright so if you hold down your alt key you can keep going until those are just they basically they've just disappeared you can stop seeing that detail and then you'll know that you've got some some contrast going on in the background. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a layer mask because I don't want to blow out her dress. I don't like the way this contrast looks on them. Um, I'm basically just going to paint it in softly around the photo where I want it. So I'm going to hit control I here and then grab uh, control I sorry um, blacks out that layer mask. So basically it hides the adjustment that we just made. And now if I grab my paintbrush tool with my color set to white, you always want to use the opposite color, I'm going to put my opacity at 10% by hitting the 1 on my keyboard. And then I'm just going to sweep this over the background. Um, and this is not an exact science for me. I just kind of sweep it on here until I like the effect. I'm going to hit the 2 on my keyboard and just F the opacity here. And basically sweep this in until I like it. And again, this will vary based on your image. It's going to vary based on your preference. Um, so just kind of take this information and kind of apply it in your own photos with what you think looks good. So sweep that in there. Okay, so now you can see that we've kind of added a little bit more contrast in their surroundings, um, which then brings out the color in the mountains and in the grass back there. Um, so there is that. Now I want to show you how to kind of use your histograms to correct color. Now this photo is overly cool um, and you can really see that with the the large spike in the blue here and definitely a large spike in the green but even the red has has a spike here and doesn't quite reach the edges which means it's lacking reds um, and then it's even lacking some blue in the shadows so basically what we're going to do is just open another levels layer and we'll adjust in here. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the red channel and I see that there's no real detail here in the highlights for the reds. So I'm going to drag this slider over until it starts to have, um, until the reading starts, basically until the graph starts. And then I'm going to do the same with the shadows. Drag that over until the reading there starts. Okay, so then I'm going to go to the green channel and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag this over until the real detail starts and then drag this over until the, re the real detail starts on that graph. Okay, and then we're going to go to blue and we are going to I noticed that this part of the blue section is kind of it's got a big spike here if you can see that the tall white line. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab this bottom slider and bring this one back, which is kind of compensating for too much up top. I hope that makes sense. So, um do that there and drag this one over a little and then you'll see that we've kind of enhanced the color there, warmed it up a little, and you could definitely go further with this. You can go back to your, your previous readings and, and um, see in here what you wanna do. Go to green here. 
Oh, that's a little too much. So I'm just going to stay where I am there. And this one does have a spike here in the green as well. So you could bring this up a little um, if you wanted to. And you can, I mean, definitely play around with the midtones if you want to. But I always find that those are a little bit harsher because there's so much midtones. Obviously, you can see the graph here is super high. So I'm actually going to leave those at the original reading of one. So just turn that on and off and you can kind of see the adjustments we made. Hold down your Alt key and you can turn on the background layer and see the changes that we've made. Um, and now definitely there, I'm sure there are more, uh, there's more information out there that's much more technical and in depth that I went um, here with this. I basically just wanted to show you how you can look at the histogram and kind of use that to help you. Um, so you don't have to like adjust these things blindly. You can kind of see um, where the readings are and how to apply it from there. So I hope this helps and isn't too confusing. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.